Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Aegis Plays Valheim. We are now on episode 45. In the last episode we made this uh, working area for ourselves so that we could smelter and get all our ores and everything going a lot quicker. We now have four and we've got three charcoal makers. Things are looking good for us. I do need to go out and gather more wood and stone again. But I won't be doing that in this video. So we still have quite a bit of wood, but we're going to need more. Same with the stone. And then we got to put this away. My cores. And a little bit of resin that I've got in my pocket. So yeah, things are starting to shape up for our base. I do need to make a place to actually store these wagons when I'm not using them. And even for the ones I am using. But in the last video, we also expanded our territory to this section. Which was technically our new bridge area. So we just run across here. I'm going to be building... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like a... Another tower, almost, but it's going to be like a gate tower. Gate house, there we go. That's what I was looking for. But we'll obviously need a lot more stone for that. Oh, I need to patch up that hole. But yeah, we're slowly making more and more progress towards our base. And I do want to change the layout of our... Uh, main base for a little bit, but yeah, like I want to plant some plants here. I'll put some on this side as well. Like so. Yeah, that didn't need to go that far over, but... Like that. Uh, let's just pop over here quickly, see which is the nicer looking of the seeds. Oh, we'll do a combination, right? Because we've got plenty of seeds. Uh, so we need to go and get... Me and myself, I'm going to incorporate this into our base. Still going to do it. <laughs> It's just my mind is like everywhere. Take the turnips. Okay, so we go here. So we do one yellow, one white. Hopefully, it's not going to tell me I are too close to the building. Now this one we'll do opposite to what I just did. Uh, I'm a bit worried he's going to say I'm too close to the building, so I'm moving them a bit further back. And this has been done for no other purpose other than for a bit of prettiness. Okay, I just want to check on these. It's probably going to say, need more space. Uh, not with my crafting tool. Healthy. See, that one says, need more room. 
Oh, that one's healthy. So that's perfect. Uh, do I have wood on me? No, I don't. See, this one went a bit too far out, but that's fine. Uh, now we go there. And we've got that funny, weird-looking fence thing. This one. Nah, we're going to leave the fence. If anything, what I'll do is... I'll take some core wood, but I think I'm run out of core wood. Because even though core wood does break down... Oh, I've got just enough. Even though core wood breaks down in the, this wet weather like this... It will still look better than the plain wood. You gonna snap for me? See, I don't want it to snap high, I want it to snap low. And so I'm trying to snap it onto that beam. There we go. That's not a garden patch, but I need to raise that up a bit there, because... Oh, what I can do is... That's better. I've been trying to modify the land. Like so. Yeah, no, that's perfect. And we'll just place one over there because that is clearly not, didn't work as intended. I probably should have waited for this to grow out before placing every, everything in, but it's fine. So our base is slowly but surely coming along. Oh. Yeah, so now we need to do something a little bit different with these beer hubs. And I was thought I couldn't walk up there. That's why I kept running around the edge. Now if I do this, can I get up there? No, uh, still not. But the stairs 
even though you can't see the stairs, they do add a little bit of extra. Makes it easier. Okay, so now that we've got our smithy, our storeroom, we need to make a bit of a kitchen, I think. You guys still good in here? I see they haven't eaten the seeds, they've just eaten all the berries that are thrown in over the time. But I think this area is too small for them to expand properly. But it would be a pain in the behind to try and move them from that area. So maybe we just need to make it bigger. Okay. Let's go put our vegetables away. Uh, that court's empty. Stock up on food, because we're actually going to go on an adventure now. See, and the lights just pop out the, the thing, because... As we get closer, you can't really see so nicely in the dark. With these little torches come in handy. <coughs> okay, let's have a nap. these ready yep they're done this is my poison resistance potions I do actually need to make some more because meat takes a long time to not just meat uh, both potions do no, where did I put it I think I put it in here yeah I did okay we We'll make a visit to go to that guy. Uh, yeah, we said stock up on food. Oopsie. Put that back on. Uh, I want to use these jam jars because I got them. So we'll put that one away for the moment. Uh, I can't use cooked meat for anything. Uh, and I've got all this extra honey, so let's do that. One of these chests have actually got quite a bit of upgraded stuff. There we go. <coughs> I should probably all put them all in one chest, but I don't have the big chest yet. I need to go get more iron. Are you fine? No, you want more room to grow. Are you healthy still? I'm not too stressed off the ones that some of them don't grow. It's just there for decoration for the most part. Okay, let's go. Uh, I wanted to sell these off so I can get... Uh, let's see... Sorry, I know I'm backtracking. I want to see how much gold he's going to give me. Probably won't be as much as I need, but he has that light, light source, the light ring. But I think it's 620 or something like that. I can't remember. And while we're on our way, berry time. Because I gave all my berries to the the pigs. And I need blueberries as well. So we're going to go fetch that.
because I think I can gather the berries every like second or third day and we're actually quite far into our day no, and we need mushrooms that sounds like a troll no it's just a oh, one star hey sorry I haven't visited for so long yeah sorry There's a copper, we probably won't ever need to mine again. Oh, I could probably just mine it just to fill my chest. Because like we're pretty much done with the copper. Uh, I do use it every now and again to make a little bit of bronze. But I don't actually need it, need it. Uh, so we went there, blueberry, looking this way. There's the blueberry patches. Some animals fighting here. I help you. We got lots of resin and stone. Oh, we need that, but. Okay. Uh, blueberries, that's a bit far out of my path, so we're going to head to that one. And let's use the power to help me run far, further and faster. Mostly because I keep forgetting that I've actually got it. Which is more annoying than actually having it, because I just forget that I've got it. There's some more blueberries. No! Do not hurt the blueberries. I need to mark this bush, because I don't have this one marked. Blueberry. What I may actually do is, I'm going to dig out that spawner. There's a way of making like a automatic wood farmer. And with, with the automatic wood farmer, I can, as they spawn, they die in there. And it's in close enough to my render range because it's, it's close to my base. Well, my base is like over the hill. That it'll be beneficial for me to do it. If you're too far away, they, they don't always work. Like the, the game works on like a spawn radius, if you want to call it like that. It's not the proper word, but. Yeah, we've got a decent haul of blueberries. Okay. Yeah, so if you go too far away from the spawners, they actually stop spawning until you come close to them. So, yeah, I may do that. It's just to help me out. But let's be honest, it's a little bit annoying having to always run here and then constantly getting attacked whereas if I run here they'll just like fall into a hole you gonna be my friend Mr. Dwarf nope see I wanted that one but he's, he's willing to give me a fishing rod and I'll have a little bit extra 
with some bait. Oh, I need the Thunderstone. I need that. Because that makes the Obliverator, which gets rid of all my trash. Let's buy the fishing rod. Can I buy bait? Oh, my inventory is probably full. Yep. How many stones do I need for the obliterator? Just one stone. And look, I need more iron. So I got my bait. Let's buy a bit more bait. Should have 80 now. Yeah. Let's get one more. Where my gold gone? So, there is fishing in the game. As you saw, I just bought myself a fishing rod and some bait. But it's not such a big part of the game, per se. There is a, like a mini collection that you can do for fishing. And But then you've got to go to all the different biomes and you've got to fish out the the fish a deal what I want uh, first I'm using this bird I just realized uh, what I want is the puffer fish because then I got to say the spawn which I was talking about a few moments ago and throw a puffer fish in there so instead of having to do like a where's it here I see Made it the wrong symbol. So instead of me just digging around this thing, which I'm actually going to do now quickly. I can just let them fall onto the puffer fish and the puffer fish will kill them. So you don't want to make this too big because then they, they spawn out. Okay, I need to just go here. Yeah. They're going to give me a hard time. So what I'm doing now is I'm pretty much making a hole. I'm going to throw these guys into this hole. This hole here. See if they're just going to fall in there willingly. That guy did. So basically what happens is these guys are going to keep spawning now. Oh, he's just not getting in line. I need to push him into the hole. Like that. Okay. Got to stagger him. Oh, but his friend is pushing me further, further away. So yeah, basically they, they're just going to keep spawning until they're all stuck in that hole. Which will just be easier for me to do this. Oh, come on. That brute is being a real pain in my... See, I can't even damage the ground because they are in my way. And even if I kill them, they're just going to respawn. That's the annoying part. I need to push the brute into the hole. Of course he ran away.
Haha, <laughs> you fell in. See, that's, those friends are it's causing me not to be able to parry them. Ah, oh, he ran away. Seriously? Join your friends in the hole. See, the more of them I get in the, the hole... I don't run away. Okay. Come to me. Of course you came that way. And of course all the trees are there still. There you go, you're now also in the hole. Where'd you, where's your big guy go? Not behind me, in front of me. Nope, too soon. Ah. Seriously, this guy's making my life very difficult. One more. It looks like he fell in the hole. He's stuck. Yeah, he's stuck in the hole. There we go. That's all I was trying to achieve. Now I can go here. Now I can see, I want to go too close to this thing. But you do want to go deep so that they get stuck. And that sound is a little bit eerie. So this is a very quick one that I'm doing here. Because ideally you don't want to break the the thingy. The spawner. But you want to go as close to the spawner as possible. I don't want to go too deep because if I get stuck in here, it's just going to frustrate me. So you can actually get pretty close to the actual spawner itself, but you just don't want to break its roots. It doesn't help that I'm low on stamina. Because I'm trying to do this quickly. But yeah, that is the general idea of the spawner. I just want to dig out this piece here. Just so that, like I said, they can't get out. You'll see it's now more or less secure all the way around, except for this piece. Now you can go inwards. Now if you've got puffer fish, or if you've got enough wood to keep a fireplace going, 
You just throw a fireplace in here. As you can see, I'm just trying to make inroads into the closer to the spawner. Like that. Oh, seems I dug a deep hole there. Okay, so that's now like my little spawner. Let me just knock out this piece. Yeah. I can get out. Now, what I have to do is just kill these guys like that. Oh, uh, stam. It's the same theory like they're sitting here falling into this hole like that. You can see all the f resources in the bottom of the hole. It will happen there. See, there's he's already stuck in there. Yeah, and with that, I'm going to leave you guys at this video, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, all the support is much appreciated. Thank you for watching.